Hello everyone, this is Jackie Hayes, um, Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator from Perth in WA. Um, today I set a challenge for my ladies on my email and that was to do something with drinking. No lot of them like drinking, I've received one with a coffee, uh, a teacup and three so far with wine glasses. So. <laughs> That gives you an idea, but to this this card that I'm going to show you how to do is whiskey business, and this is a stamp set that I uh, I've got from the new catalogue, and um, it's a really good one for me because my son is a whiskey drinker, so eventually he might get a card made out of this one. I've not put all of them on the. Um, on the back end for yet because I've only just received it but this is a card I've made and it's got on it straight up you're the best and I made it look like a photo um, hanging frame um, got two whiskey glasses and a bit of lemon I put um, embossing folder from the brick bricks and mortar and then this um this one is pine wood planks um at the bottom so it looks as if it stood on um, um a, a board i've just done a little bit of um, stamping and coloring in on the inside the card i'm using is the new one out of the um out of the new catalogue it's the new season in colour and this one is um, cinnamon cider and I've used very vanilla the colouring in is done with cinnamon cider blends and I've stamped it in memento black so I'll just get started I do like this this one though because it's got um, being a dad is a whiskey business. Uh, your your top shelf. Cheers to you. Sending you an old fashioned birthday card. Straight up, you're the best. And then there's the glasses. And this is a plank of wood, but I just wanted to give it a little bit more texture. So the card stock I'm using is very vanilla. And there's two at. Um, 10 by 14 and a half and then the cinnamon cider is um a5 scored at 10 and a half so i'll just take this one and we'll cut stamp these off first I've got that right way up and then a whiskey glass there and that's we're just waiting now for the inside to be coloured in um, and the blends I will move these into a bit more so that you can see what I'm doing and I just need two It's not going to fit that one. Two whiskey glasses. And then the decanter. And what I've done with the decanter, I've used um, the colouring, the cider, pardon me, the cinnamon cider to colour the, the whiskey in but then the glass is left and I've used the Winker Stella on it so it brings out a shine I don't know whether you can see the shine on it or not it gives it a sparkle like a glass so that's, that's the stamping done on that and then I've got a piece of lemon and I'll I will 
just stamp that. I might just wash that off and do it in the yellow and it'll save having to to then colour it in. It's not coloured in very well with it being on the black, but that's not a problem. I can because I've got a colour there. And this is um, Mango Melody. I'm just colouring in. Oh yeah, that looks better. That looks better than having the black on there. Right, so then don't need the memento again. I will just move them on one side so I don't need them. And the what have I done with this scrap piece of paper for my to get another piece I think. It's not going to fit. No, it's not. I will have to get another piece of paper for my thing. But what I'm going to do first is I'll just move them out of the way because that won't take long. This piece for the front, I'm going to emboss. So I'll just pull my big shot here so I can use that. And... And then I've got this all set up. So the big shot for the wall, uh, for the embossing part, embossing folder for the wall, I've got an extra thick plate, which is an embossing plate. And, and that is because it's a, a thick one. You don't need another plate underneath it. So my card in and I want it that way which is not an easy way to do it because I just want it half about halfway you should put this in I can do it actually that way yeah if it goes that way always put the embossing plate with the fold to the front so that it doesn't tear doesn't tear your plate so maybe the brick wall is the opposite way but that's not a problem it's a different way of looking at it um, the bricks have gone that way. I should have done it the other way, like I said. But then this one will do. Oops, oh, top. No, fingers are all thumbs today. And this one is just going to be level with the bricks. going to be very different this one and that's just an ordinary plate with the embossing plate and it doesn't take any any um, pushing it through so see this one is a little bit different with the bricks going the opposite way. This one must have my husband as the builder. Yep, it definitely got my husband as a builder. He's built the house the wrong way round. <laughs> but if he sees this video, he'll laugh. 
now move all that out of the way I'm just going to color this in the brown I don't want um, and this is just going to be colored a little bit I don't want it to go on the bricks though because I want this to look like the wood and then the bricks is on the wall so there you see done that yes that's a little bit dark but it doesn't matter because I'm going to be putting um, glasses on there and just move that out of the way so I don't get any of that on I will colour these in before I cut them out um, the dark and the light I don't want the dark I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow in some of these and I'll colour these in at the same time missing the part where it's on the, the point because that is glass and the beauty of the blends is that it blends in really nicely with um, other colours you don't have to um, be careful with it it just blends in and gives that little bit of a light shining through it so there that's the first first little bit you can see the yellow streaks in that and just and do the same with this one Sorry, I forget to talk when I'm colouring in. And I'll do this whiskey glass at the same time. Two ice cubes. They should have a little bit of whiskey. Um, just... So that it looks as if it's um, going round the ice cube, which that's that's that finished now. Apart from um, the um, Winker Stella, which I'm going to put on when I've mounted the card onto my base card. And just this little bit of colouring in now. Mm. 
just uh, I think that might be just just enough for that yep now it's just a, a matter of cutting it all out and this doesn't take very long because it's the straight straight pieces don't take long at all it's the fiddly bits that take the longest when you've got something really fiddle uh, really tiny and intricate and what I'm doing is I'm just moving the paper around and keeping the scissors in the right the same place um, which makes it a smoother cut and then and I've done this on whisper white because I didn't want the glasses to look yellow which if I'd have done them on uh, very vanilla the whisk the glasses and decanter would have been very yellow looking and I know you do get yellow or brownie looking ones because I've got a brown decanter that my mum and dad gave me for a wedding present 51 years ago and I've still got all of them so that's good and just this bottom bit to finish off and then I'll do the lemon and the lemon I've, I've done and I've cut into it because I I wanted it to look as if it was over the glass so I cut into it there um, and And that way then I can just manoeuvre it over the glass before I stick it onto the card. Oops, get off. And just that little bit to snip off. Done. So you see that is torn in there and I can just fix that over one of the glasses let's go it that way that's better yeah so there and then what I will do is I'll just tack that onto it um, which is it's good I didn't want with this one it's mainly black and I don't like that whereas this is yellow I quite like that one now so now it's a case of assembling my card and this one is with Tombow glue on here And that is stuck onto the base card in the middle. I've not put a saying in the middle because with the saying straight up you're the best you can put happy birthday, happy father's day, um, it can be anything with that verse on the front. So that's that bit and this piece I've got to put um, extra strong tape on this because with it being embossed, it may not stick with the um, the Tombow glue. And this 
the strong tape. Now you also take take your pick tool just to pull these bits up, and I'll leave um, I'll leave a part of it on there because then I, I will not have to take it all off if I don't get it straight. Because when you've got the tape on, you don't get any wiggle room. So, and this is going on the front. Make sure I've got all my tapes out. And I didn't have to take that off, so I'm doing well with that one. And then with this one now, I've put um, dimensionals on these. Turn them all over. Just put two on the glasses, then make sure I've got a few extra on the on the decanter. Just now, it's that one. Okay, and use a take your pick tool. Well, Take these pieces off. Keeps moving about, can't grab, get hold of it. So that's not stuck on my finger. I'll just turn that over and put that on. I wanted that a little bit higher up so that. Then we've got to do the um, the saying, which is going to be on there, and I'm going to stamp it off on a piece of. Now oh, that's not wide enough. I've got oh, I've got one here. Hopefully this one will go in it. Yes, it will. So move all these out of the way. Put me glue back on my Tombow glue and it's a new pad so I have to be very careful because it's extra juicy and I want to get that right in the middle perfect Move that on to one side and then and this um, is timeless label and it's that shape it's a new it's lovely this one I, it's, it's a bit manly as well as for a lady and what I did let me see if I can find the sponge which I've just dropped on the floor I just edged I just edged this to give it a bit of dimension from the wall yep it looks
looks all right i don't need to do any more to that one and what i did to make it look like it's hanging i took a bit of the ribbon and this is the cinnamon cider ribbon and i put some strong tape on the top of this this bit off don't want that on and just laid it like that and then I folded it over so it was able to just bend into position like that um, maybe just hold it up a little bit and I will cut that piece off now. These scissors. Move that out of the way. It's lovely, this ribbon. It's like a um, a, wove, a weave. What does it say? Um, it just says 2020, 22 in colour ribbon. It doesn't actually say what it is, but it's like a herringbone. So, and I do like this colour. I really do and what I've done is I put this on to make it look like it's I better hang it up I'm to put some dimensionals on it first and I just put a little bit on each ribbon make sure I've got some on the ribbon all right now to hold the ribbon so that it looks as if it's on i used a mini glue dot and just put the ribbon onto the glue dot just press it down so that that's held in place and i then took the um, gilded gems and I took, a, I did a big one, and this looks like the it looks like the the hanger for the ribbon. So there, that's my inside, and this is the outside. All I've got to do now is do some Winker Stella to make it look like glass, which very easy to do and just keep going over that for a minute it doesn't take long for this um, Winker Stella to dry it's dry within seconds of putting it on And you may notice that I use this a lot because I think it's it's good that it gives that little bit of a sparkle to everything. Maybe should press some more down. and just do the inside as well And 
there's the inside sparkling as well. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Can't tell, but but that is definitely sparkling on the outside. And a bit of lemon. I don't want the lemon being glistened. Right, so if you would like a catalogue, um, they are $5 from me. Um, you can either email me at jackiesan50 at gmail.com or go on to my blog, which is http two dots two forward slashes jackiesancards.stampingup.net or you can even phone me on 0422 547461. Um, the wing whiskey business is on page 33 and it it is $33 and this is the whiskey business stamp set on there and they've made a card here now i've just shown you one that's come straight out of my head um and it just goes to show that there's plenty more ideas out there if you would like to buy this um but there's loads of different ideas in there at the moment if you wanted to become a stamping up demonstrator um there is a a special on where you can become a demonstrator for $169 and you get $235 of products of your choice but also you can get a free bundle which is a bundle or either a, a stamp set and a punch or a stamp set and a, a die that goes with that um, sometimes to work out at hundred dollars it's entirely up to you you don't have to be a demonstrator like i am you can be just come a hobby demonstrator and buy your own products and if you want to do that then that's fine because stamping up haven't got a problem with that once you become a demonstrator you get 20 percent off all your orders and if you don't want to become a demonstrator anymore or st stay being a demonstrator, you just stop buying and then that means you actually stop being a demonstrator. Um, but that's, it, it's as simple as that. Nobody asks any questions and nobody forces you into doing anything. But please, if you want to become part of my team, which I've got a team of lovely ladies, then you can either do it on my blog, email me or phone me and I will help you go through it. But thank you for watching today. Please stay well and stay safe and we can get through this vir uh, coronavirus very easily. But bye for now.